Well, having secured a valuable point at Leicester last Monday, Everton aim to take all the positives from that performance and try and gain all three points here at Brighton this afternoon. It's their penultimate away game of the season and Everton's only win on the road this campaign was way back on the 1st of October. That win, though, was at Southampton. Can they make it a South Coast double by getting the better of Brighton here at the Amex Stadium? Everton were victorious here last season, coming away with a 2-0 win. A repeat of that would go down an absolute treat with the travelling Evertonians. Purvis yeah. Estepinian, the Ecuadorian international, now picked up by Alex Iwobi, getting Everton on the move, and Calvert-Lewin takes it brilliantly. Decorey's in the box, Calvert-Lewin, he's found him! What a start! What a start! 35 seconds on the clock! And Everton strike! Adelaide de Corre with a priceless goal! Everton and the travelling hordes celebrate in some style the perfect opening to a game. When the pressure is on, Everton have delivered here. De Corre with his third of the season. Iwobi started it here. Calvert-Lewin with a brilliant little flick to get him away from Lewis Dunk and he had the wherewithal to find Decore who steered it home a flying start and they have continued in that vein here inside the opening minute it doesn't get any better than that here's Decore now Dwight McNeil Everton can drive forward here. Dwight McNeil will do exactly that. He's got Mikalenko outside of him. Here he is, and it almost found its way through to Decore. It was just snatched at the last. Everton on the counter-attack and plenty of bodies forward. Decore's in acres of space, and Decore at the double. Volleys home brilliantly. Counter-attacking football. At its brilliant best here at Brighton. Just when Everton need to deliver, they are doing exactly that. Decore with an excellent finish to add to his first minute strike. Everton snuffing out Brighton on the edge of their own penalty area and breaking forward into Brighton's half and Dwight McNeil with the perfect pass for Decore who found space and time and found the perfect finish because this wasn't easy but how he delivered what a strike from Decore who measured this perfectly and the Everton fans can celebrate again they are faces of pure delight as is that from Abdelaide Decore Iwobi again and Decore again is in acres of space but Iwobi might go alone here now he's picked out Decore, he's sent him too far wide, he'll still get there and pick up McNeil McNeil gets the byline and it's 3-0, it'll go down as an own goal, who cares? Everton are in dreamland. Let me say this again, Brighton nil, Everton 3, we've played 35 minutes of football and Everton have scored three away from home inside those opening 35 minutes. Brighton are simply stunned. Everton are simply ecstatic. 3-0 up. On the break again. And hitting Brighton with the counter-attack. It looked like it had gone wrong from Iwobi's pass. Decore kept it alive and Dwight McNeil somehow steered it home off the right leg of Jason Steele. An own goal it will be. 
but it's a third for Everton before this first half is out. And driven wide again from Caicedo out towards Pascal Gross. Solly March might go for goal himself, changes his mind, checks inside. Gross lifts it, far post, chances, great save. Pickford, absolutely wonderful Jordan Pickford save. It didn't matter that the flag was up, Pickford wouldn't have known that. It was superb. Have a look at this. It wouldn't have counted. It was offside. Just that header. Pickford got across to tip it onto the post. Ferguson's header superbly saved. The outstretched right hand of Jordan Pickford. Brilliant. McNeil and Decore forward, and he wove, he's played it into the path of McNeil to seal it for Everton. How about that? As cool and calm and composed as it comes. Dwight McNeil has deserved that. He's been excellent again today. And Everton have smashed Brighton to pieces this afternoon. It's a fourth, it's three points on the road. It's a thumping victory on the south coast for Everton. Brighton perplexed. And Everton have torn Brighton apart whenever they've had the opportunity on the counter-attack. 4-0 up. Who'd have believed this? The smiles on the Evertonians say it all. All this began from a Brighton corner. Idrissa Garnagay. Iwobi. McNeil was played in. Brighton were almost giving up. Look at that pass slid perfectly into his path, but how cool and composed was Dwight McNeil. He took his time waltzed around Jason Steele and slotted into the vacant net. It's been Everton's day, all right. Iwobi, superb. McNeil made Brighton look absolutely silly. Brighton fans will be leaving in their droves. Dwight McNeil celebrates before it crosses the line, and he was perfectly entitled to do so. Brighton shell shocked. Everton, superb performance of the season. And uh, the Everton fans will be singing non stop throughout. Listen to the noise, it's all coming from Evertonians. Bit of defending still to do. Oh, and it's gone in. Mitoma at the far post. Everton are appealing for offside. Mitoma is claiming the goal. I think it might go down as a, an own goal, maybe. Or did McAllister get the last touch? They're checking for possible offside here. Whether there was a touch from McAllister on that one that took it through to Mitoma if there was then he's offside but the goal has been given it stands oh, how did that stay out Mitoma on the volley I think it was going wide actually driven right across and uh, it's off the shoulder of Colwell Anana playing the ball on for Dwight McNeil who's got energy to burn for and off he goes again. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Dwight McNeil completes a perfect day for Everton. He has been absolutely superb. It's his second of the game. It's the final kick of the game, surely. The final nail in Brighton's coffin. Everton. Sensational today, 5-1.
They lead here at Brighton. What an afternoon we have witnessed. Everton belaying their Premier League position. Dwight McNeil, he'll run forever. And what about that for a finish? He's so full of confidence. And he just battered it beyond Jason Steele. He was always going alone here. He's got so much belief at the moment, you just knew he was going to rattle it home. Yes, it's five. What an afternoon, stroke evening for Everton. One that we'll remember for a long, long time. Brighton 1, Everton 5.